Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to look at some examples related to algebraic functions, finding out the derivative of algebraic functions and also use chain rule of differentiation. So let's look at some examples where we will use product rule, quotient rule, chain rule of differentiation on algebraic functions. We ha I have picked some couple of problems. We'll just try to go through them so that we can understand the concept better. So let's start here. We have to find out the derivative of ax plus b whole to the power of n into cx plus d whole to the power of m. So let me go ahead and say that this is u and this is v. And what I have been asked is to find out the derivative of uv dash. If I take this as y, can I say y dash is nothing but uv whole dash which is equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash. Let's find out what is u dash and v dash because you know already u and v. So let's find out what is u dash. u dash equal to derivative of ax plus b whole to the power of n. So at higher level we see a variable to the power of n. So we will apply the formula n into x to the power of n minus 1. Whatever the variable we have, we have treated it as t let us say. So ax plus b equal to t. So then I can say n into t to the power of n minus 1. That's not enough because the variable itself is a function. I have to say what is the d by dx of ax plus b. This is nothing but the chain rule of differentiation starting from inside and going out. So starting from outside and going in, it's exactly the reverse. Start from here. Once you are done, again go to the next level. Okay. Now this is equal to n into ax plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 into d by dx of ax plus b. What is that? That's nothing but equal to a. So we got d by dx of ax plus b whole to the power of n equal to n into ax plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 into a. So let us find out v dash also similarly. Let us see what is that. d by dx of cx plus d whole to the power of m equal to m into cx plus d whole to the power of m minus 1 because we are talking about n into x to the power of n minus 1. After that, I should find out what is the derivative of cx plus t. That's equal to m into c into cx plus t whole to the power of m minus 1. So we got, we know u, we know v, we know u dash, we know v dash. So why can't we go ahead and write the formula? Let's do that. So I'll write down y dash equal to uv whole dash equal to u into v dash that is ax plus b whole to the power of n into v dash u into v dash what we are saying I'll write down the formula here again u v whole dash equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash so u is ax plus b whole to the power of n multiplied with v dash that is m into mc can I say into cx plus d cx plus d whole to the power of m minus 1 that we have to add now u v dash plus v into u dash v into u dash that is cx plus d whole to the power of m multiplied with a n or can I say n a 
n a is better n a a x plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 now if you observe we can take a x plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 and c x plus d whole to the power of m minus 1 common in both of them so it will become a x plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 multiply with c x plus d whole to the power of m minus 1 what is left out what we are left out is m c into a x plus b plus because when I have taken a x plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 1 a x plus b is left out plus n a into c x plus d that is our answer so we have found out what is u dash what is v dash after that we have just substituted them u into v dash plus v into u dash little bit of manipulation taking out simplifying a x plus b whole to the power of n minus 1 c x plus d whole to the power of n minus 1 we have taken out so we have m c into a x plus b plus n a into c x plus d let's move to the next one let's look at this one we have been asked to find out the derivative of a x plus b by c x plus d now what is the form in which we see it's in the form of quotient so what I can do I can say this is u and this is v I will say u by v derivative equal to we know the formula the quotient rule says this is v square then I have v into u dash minus u into v dash so first let's find out what is u dash and v dash so that we can substitute what is u dash u dash is d by dx of a x plus b that's equal to a and what is v dash v dash equal to d by dx of c x plus d that's equal to c now let's substitute that let us say d by dx of a x plus b by c x plus d equal to according to the formula I should have v square that is c x plus d whole square then v v is c x plus d multiplied with u dash u dash is a minus u that is a x plus b into v dash v dash is c so let's try to simplify this if I multiply with a I will have a c x plus a d minus a c x minus b c divided by c x plus d whole square just simple simplification nothing else there a c x a c x cancels I will have a d minus b c by c x plus d whole square so that's the derivative of a x plus b by c x plus d which is in the form of u by v so we have used the u by v form we found u dash we found v dash we have substituted and we found that the derivative of a x plus b by c x plus d is a d minus b c by c x plus d whole square let's look at this example this is the last one for this session we have to find out the derivative of p x square plus q x plus r divided by a x plus b now by this time you are very well converted with that you know that this is in the form of u by v and we know the rule says u by v derivative equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square so let's substitute the formula directly we will do it straight forward so I'll write down that's equal to oops let me get a straight line there yeah that should, that's a little bit fine v square is a x plus b whole square v is a x plus b 
and the derivative of u dash that is p x square plus q x plus r minus u that is p x square plus q x plus r multiplied with derivative of d by d x of a x plus b. We will simplify that. We will take the denominator as it is a x plus b whole square that is a x plus b multiplied with derivative of p x square plus q x plus r p is constant I can take it out x square derivative is 2 x so I can say 2 p x derivative of q x is q into derivative of x that is q minus of p x square plus q x plus r into derivative of a x is a and derivative of b is 0. So, derivative of a x plus b is a. If you simplify that, let us try to multiply this and see. We will have a x into 2 p x that is 2 a p x square a x into q that is a x q then I have b into 2 p x that is 2 b p x plus b q minus a p x square I will I'll take it to the next line minus a p x square minus a q x minus a r this whole thing divided by a x plus b whole square. Let us see if we can cancel any terms. a x q a x q cancels and we are left out with and you can see 2 a p x square a minus a p x square. So, I can simplify that. That will become that's equal to 2APX square minus APX square. So, it is APX square plus 2BPX plus BQ minus AR divided by AX plus B whole square. So, these are some examples where we have used product rule, quotient rule and also chain rule of differentiation on algebraic functions derivatives. In the next session, we will see some examples like similar examples on the trigonometry side. Then we will try to move to the next level of problems that is intermediate level problems. So, I will catch you in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.